Hi writers, my name is Miss Schweitzer and I teach second grade in the purple hallway. Today we're going to use a checklist to set goals for ourselves to make our writing even better. So today I want to teach you that when writers are ready to share their writing with the world, that they give their writing one last read looking for any way to make it even better because we want to make sure that we edit our work before we share it with an audience, we want to use everything that we have learned ever to make it the best writing that it can be. So this is our anchor chart that we've been using to think about our favorite parts in the book, characters we like, pictures, titles, covers, or lessons that were learned. So that was helping uncover our opinions about the book, as in, why do we like this book so much? because we want other people to also read these books that we've been reading because we think they're so great. So again, we're gonna use a checklist today in order to double check over our writing before we move on and share it with people. So I'm gonna get out my checklist right here. So as I read through this checklist, I'm going to reread through my own writing. I'm gonna share that with you today. And I want to make sure that if I already learned something, I want to make sure I'm doing it in my writing. If I haven't learned it yet, though, that's okay. I can just mark the not yet box, meaning I haven't started doing that yet because I haven't learned it. And that's okay. But if I have learned it, I'm going to check through that today. I'm going to fix it and make sure that I continue to do that so my writing is the best that it can be. You can add revision strips if you're at home or just post-it notes if you have them. You can write it right onto your page of your writing if you would like. It's totally up to you. If you're working in a Google Doc, then you can just backspace your mistakes and fix them right there on the page. So let's get started. We're just gonna do the best we can in fixing the things that we know how to fix. So remember, we've also worked with checklists before when we did narrative writing, and the reason we're using this tool is to help us remember all the things that we know how to do in our writing. So you should have a checklist out anytime you're writing or finishing up, not just for your writing test. So here's my letter. Dear Mrs. Johnson, I really like the book Enemy Pie by Derek Munson. You should definitely read it. The characters are so relatable because they have friend problems they need to figure out. The main boy gets left out of stuff by this kid named Jeremy Ross. It makes him upset, so he wants to make a pie that's just for enemies. My favorite part was when the boys went up to the treehouse because it was so suspenseful. The main boy had to hurry up and take down his enemy list before Jeremy would see it. Jeremy is on that list, so that was close. I hope that you will read this book. It's so good. Sincerely, Miss Schweitzer. So now I'm going to come over here to my checklist. And the first thing that I see is overall, I wrote my opinion or my likes and dislikes, and I gave reasons for my opinion. And yes, I would say that I am doing that, so I can check that off. Lead. I wrote a strong lead. Either I used a quote from the book or I I have a question for the reader, or I just gave background of the story, painting a picture, then I told my opinion. So this area right over here is the lead. I'm gonna use a different color. And I haven't really learned that many different ways to make a strong lead. So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna write that I am not yet doing that. And that's okay, I haven't learned it yet. And then I'm gonna move on. Transitions. I used linking words and phrases, such as one reason, because, for example, also another reason in the word and. Well, I know Mrs. Johnson taught me how to add in the word because and the word for example, so now I'm gonna go back through and double check that I actually have those things happening in my writing. So as I'm reading through, I'm reading carefully every single sentence, one at a time. The characters are so relatable because, okay, so there's my word because, so I have that. Oh, I, you know what I did forget? I forgot the word for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally gonna add that in right here on my page. So this is my example that the main boy gets left out of stuff by the kid named Jeremy Ross, this kid named Jeremy Ross. So I'm gonna add in for example right on my page. I'm just gonna put a little carrot, make sure it's a lowercase t since now that is no longer the beginning of my sentence and I'm gonna move on. So again, checking for the word because, and for example, 
Make some upset so wants to make a pie that's just for enemies. My favorite part was when the boys went up to the treehouse because it was so, so I have the word because. Oh, and again, I forgot the words. For example, no problem. I'm adding that in. Little carrot. Make sure it's a lowercase t now. Comma. And moving on. And there we go. So now I would say that I am doing those things. So I'm going to come over here and put yes. Ending. My ending reminded readers of my opinion and included a powerful ending. Mm, this is my ending. I hope that you will read this book. And it's so good. So I haven't really learned any other fancier way to end it. So I'm going to mark not yet. I don't feel like I've learned that yet. And that's okay. I'm going to move on. Organization. I wrote many parts. Introduction, opinion, reasons, details from the text, and conclusions. Well, it does seem that I have all the parts of the writing, even though maybe they're not as long and strong as they could be. So I do have them though. So I'm going to mark that yes, I'm good for organization. I wrote many parts. Elaboration. I wrote at least three reasons with details from the text to support, to support my reasons. I didn't write three reasons. Let's see. So again, I'm reading back through. I really want to make sure I read, read back through every time I'm checking for each of these things and that I'm not just hurrying up and rushing. So remember, three reasons with details from the text to support your reasons. That can sometimes feel like a lot, and but that's okay. You always can go back through and write them in. Like I said, use a revision strip or a post-it note or just type it in if you're doing it on a Google Doc. So I have my for example reason and it makes him upset so he wants to make a pie that's just for enemies. I think that I really only have about two reasons here. So I know I could write more. And then for my second paragraph or my third paragraph, my favorite part when they went to the treehouse, the main, for example, the main boy had to hurry up and take down his enemy list before Jeremy would see it. Jeremy's on that list that was close. So I don't really go into any detail there. I just kind of give one reason. So I'm going to mark starting to. So I know that's something I need to come back and work on. And that's okay. So then my second page of my checklist is the craft. I chose interesting story words. So I do have words like character, um, I don't really have a word problem or author's message or setting or chapter. I just have one. So again, I'm just going to mark that I'm starting to do this, but that I know I could add other interesting story words into my writing. Spelling. I used vowel teams, glued sounds, and suffixes the best I can. And I spelled all the words on the word chart correctly. So again, remember, these are those regular second grade words that we should know how to spell without really having to think about it. And if we accidentally made those mistakes, we want to fix them right now. So again, I'm reading back through, starting at the tippy tippy top. And something I realized, I didn't actually write out the date. That is so important, boys and girls, in a letter. You want to write out the full date, the month, starting with the capital letter. I started this letter on April 23rd, and then I want a comma, and then the year. So make sure that that is written out and that we don't do it shorthand. I really like the book Enemy Pie. So again, I'm just carefully reading this to myself. You can read it out loud if you want, or you can read it to somebody else, or you can read it in your head. But you want to slow down. Look, I forgot the E on have. I know how to spell have. I just maybe was going too fast and that happens. So make sure you're not reading over it so fast that you miss really important words like that that you already know how to spell. So then I'm going to keep going and I'm kind of going to be looking for my capitalization too. I capitalize the beginning of sentences, names of authors, illustrators, characters, and places. Oh, look what I didn't do here, boys and girls. Jeremy Ross. That's his name. I know you capitalize names. I just must have been, again, going a little too fast when I was writing this and I forgot. So I'm just going to fix it right there, right now. I'm not going to wait. So if you have a pencil, you can just erase it and fix it right through on your paper. And again, I'm checking for spelling and capital letters. I want to make sure that I didn't make any silly little mistakes. If you need help, ask somebody for help with how to spell certain things, but make sure you're not just breezing through and going too quick. Okay. So I'm going to finish rereading all the way down to the bottom of my letter and it looks good. Okay. Awesome. So I would say spelling is good. So once you've checked spelling and you fixed it, then you can mark that yes box. If not, then you're going to mark this starting to box and come back to it and make sure that you fix it. 
capitalization. I think that looks good so far. And now punctuation, making sure you actually have periods or exclamation points or question marks where they belong. So again, starting back at the top, rereading through and making sure that you actually ended sentences where you were supposed to and that you're not going on and on and on. So I'm going to read back through, double check myself. Once I think I've done a great job and I put everything where it needs to go, then I can mark yes. So really use this checklist to make sure that you are doing the things we've already learned. We've already learned spelling. We've already learned capitalization and punctuation. We've been working on that stuff for quite some time. So really make sure you're taking the time to go back through. You're using commas to separate words and lists and an apostrophe for words like can't or don't or won't. I have a, an apostrophe in the word that's for that is. So double check all of those things to make your writing the best it can be. Great job. You guys are doing an awesome job. Keep up the great work.